Hello everyone, this is Rahul. In this video, we are going to look at how the processor fetches an instruction. Before that, we need to know how few terminologies in order to understand how it fetches an instruction. Firstly, we will study what is meant by byte addressable and word, addre word addressable memories. Byte and word addressable memories. Generally, one byte is equals to eight bits and one word ranges from 16 bits to 64 bits this is because the architecture varies from processor to processor and there is no standard of on the size of the word it can be it, it ranges so if we have the address space to identify each word then it is known as word addressable memory in word addressable memory we can uniquely identify each word whereas in byte addressable memory we identify uniquely each byte for example let us consider a memory comprising of several bytes several words sorry okay and this is the first word this is the second this is the third and so on now let the size let us assume the size of assume the size of word one word as four bytes so each word has four bytes one two three and four one two three and four one two three and four so each word has four bytes now in order to address each byte each byte all also has an address in byte addressable system so address of this byte is 1 next one is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now in in word addressable system we have already seen that the addresses are consecutive but in word addressable system the first word address is 1 the second word address is 5 the third word address is 9 this is because the first word starts at byte 1 and the second word starts at byte 5 third word starts as starts at byte 9 and so on in between two words there are four bytes that is the reason we need to add this number of bytes in each word to get this successive location of each word so this this is all about byte addressable and word addressable <coughs> memories next we will see two special purpose program two special purpose registers in a processor let me clear this first okay the first one is the program counter program counter program counter is a register as the name itself says a program counter keeps track of the program a program has several instructions this may be instruction 1 instruction 2 instruction 3 instruction 4 the processor has to keep track of each instruction whether it is executing this one or this one and what it should execute the next so in this register we keep the track of the address of the next instruction address of the next instruction to be fetched getting my point why we need this program counter when the current instruction is 
finished executing in the processor the next instruction is x uh, i mean fetched from the memory at this location and stored in a register known as instruction register okay let's look at the overview the address is put onto the bus onto the bus towards memory now memory responds to the command given by the processor and puts the instruction onto the bus and processor loads the instruction into the instruction register this is how an instruction is loaded from memory into the instruction register now let us see more clearly all right so here we can see a typical processor this is a typical processor this is program counter this is instruction register i haven't included other circuitry which includes arithmetic and logical units control units etc this is the system bus where the data transfer takes place it comprises of three different kinds of buses control bus address bus and etc now in order to fetch the instructions the program starts ex uh, starts uh, in, uh, its instructions from the memory at location i so this i must be loaded into program counter now this i is sent to the memory memory loads this instruction on to the bus into the instruction register at the same time at almost the same time this program counter value is incremented to point to the next word in the memory yes when this completes execution this instruction will be fetched and again the program counter value is incremented to point to the next next memory word cell we don't have any instruction here there may be some instruction okay this is byte addressable this thing here is byte addressable now if we have word addressable then the in then the location starts at i next it goes to i plus 1 it goes to i plus 2 if it is if we want the instructions to be fetched in byte addressable scheme then we increment with 4 if not we increment with 1 because we can get the address of the next word by in, at the next successive location so here instead of this we first load this with i then load this with i plus 1 then load this with i plus 2 and so on so that's all for this video thank you for watching if you find it useful please like share and subscribe and give me the feedback in the comment section below thank you